everyone and welcome back to my channel it's mll here and i'm excited to announce that your girl got her m2 license i am so happy i'm so proud of myself but truth be told i almost didn't make it to the course i really didn't but i pushed through and i got through it and i'm very proud of myself so I did my um, motorcycle course training at the Sheridan College here in Mississauga, Ontario. It's a three day course. They do one day in class and two days of riding. So if you guys actually followed me on Instagram, I did post when I was doing my in class. We did through Zoom. Usually it would have been in, in the college, but because of COVID, we had to do it through Zoom. And they just talk about basic safety and just knowing your bike and as basic as it is it's a lot of information by by like nine because the course started from like six and it ended at ten by like nine o'clock i was like i'm getting a headache this is overwhelming they did give us breaks but it's a lot of information especially for me who's completely new doesn't know anything it was a bit overwhelming it's a it's a lot by 10 30 i was out. <laughs> I went to I went to bed. I think I took an Advil or, or did I just go to bed? I, could, I can't remember. I was gone and that's not normal for me. I go to bed around 1, 2 o'clock, sometimes 3 o'clock in the morning if I'm not working. So that 10.30 thing was way too early for me. But it just goes to show like just how much information they pump into you for that, um, for that course. They also do um, send you a waiver to sign. They send you a covid um sheet um just to make sure that you haven't traveled and, and that you're not sick the screening sheet they also give you a test paper to also do that you would have to bring on your day of writing so all three of those you would have to bring on your day of writing if you fail to do so you might not be able to ride or if they have i guess you'd be able to fill it out um, quickly there so after that zoom course they um instruct you on like what to bring and where to meet and all that stuff so our course the writing course does start at 8 but they do advise you to come at 7 30 especially because we have some paperwork to hand into them that they have to check over and we also have to get our bikes so they want us there early to get that done so they can actually start the course at eight o'clock so when you get there there's just a lineup to do their check throughs and then there's um, bikes lined up there for you to choose after they check that you are okay and they got you registered in and they put like a little um, name tag on your helmet so they they know your name and they could call you by it so after that um, I didn't know which bike to take honestly to tell you the truth I did see another female rider there and she was standing beside a bike and I was just like I don't know which bike <laughs> and she was like choose this one my husband told me it's lightweight and it's easy to man to manage so i end up ch choosing a dirt bike by honda i don't remember how much cc it was i i really don't i just remember it was red and white <laughs> i don't like the color is going to help you guys but yeah it was a dirt bike um and um it it, it was good i i don't I, I don't really know how to judge if it was a bad bike or a good bike because that was the first bike I've ever sat on. I never even been a passenger on a motorcycle. So for uh, my first bike, it was a good bike. Yeah, I was able to manage it and everything. So basically, once you choose your bike, the instructor actually takes your bike and moves it into the parking lot because we kind of off of the parking lot where we had to do the registration and give them our waivers and everything. So they move it into the parking lot for you. They put the kickstand and you just stand beside your bike. They tell you not to touch it or anything. So once they get everyone registered, everyone assigned to a bike, they do the usual first day of school introductory. The instructors say, my name is blah, 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 and I've been driving or riding for how many years and blah, blah, blah. And then everyone else in your, um, in your group does the same thing. It was a group of 15 of us. And to be very, like, um, I was very surprised that out of the 15, only three of us never like been on a bike before i was expecting a lot more new riders to be in that course but to come to find out that most of the the course had people who did ride like in a different country and then came up here and they they um 
want to write up here so they have to get that license so i was like oh and some people just were there for the insurance and others i think there was one or two that have writing experience but they were like more racers like so they want to transition so they needed to learn new um new safety um and new proper skills i guess but yeah so there was actually two groups of 15. i don't know how many was new on the other group we yeah but anyways in my group it was just the three of us so that was exciting you know it was really nice because throughout the course we were like really encouraging each other and giving each other like supportive um words and stuff it was it's actually it was cool <laughs> anyways so the first um exercise yeah it's an exercise so the first exercise that they had us do was m us now move our bikes so they showed us about like kicking the the kickstand up and which side of the bike to stand on and where to move your weight and everything with the bike and i was like ah that's easy stuff you know that's like a bicycle stuff um but when it came time for us now to do the exercise i kicked up the kickstand and that bike i wasn't expecting all that weight <laughs> I was like, whoa, okay, I actually have to put some muscles in this. And it's like, man, a bicycle doesn't have an engine, a motorcycle does, so come on. <laughs> like, yeah, it's easy to move around and stuff, but um, just keep in mind that the bicycle doesn't have weight as a motorcycle. So I was comparing it to a bicycle when he was doing it, because he moved it around like a bicycle. I was like, easy peasy, but just keep in mind that the bike, motorcycle bike, has weight to it so make sure you put a little muscle into it into that when you're moving it around so they just have it had us move it forward move it to the side move it back just to get used to um moving the bike around so the next exercise they had us do they talked about balancing our bike and braking properly using the front and the rear brakes together so that um the exercise we had to pair up with someone that that's roughly around the same size as us because that partner that person's going to be pushing you so that's going to be your pushing partner so the bikes are still off at this point there's they're not on so the our partner is our momentum so they all had us like line up in a straight line side by side to each other and then our partner would push let us go and we kind of balance off the momentum we use the brakes to stop and they had us practice checking our blind spots because the bikes actually don't have mirrors on them but as much as you you check your mirrors they also want you to check your blind spots to just to be safe so we did that exercise for a few times you rotate with your partner i push the part my partner and my partner pushes me when we did get to the end of the parking lot we did come off our bike and turn it around um we didn't turn on yeah because we had to stop <laughs> and then yeah come off and then turn it around and we did that for a few minutes that exercise was was quite fun and very very simple for me because i'm used to i'm used to riding a, um, a bicycle so balancing the motorcycle was fairly simple easy easy task for me so after that exercise we started to balance the bike with our partners in a turn so they made pylons with um a left turn and a right turn so our partner would push us we get the momentum we ride for a little bit and then we would turn into the pylons to be very honest i in my mind i was like i don't want to fall i don't want to fall <laughs> like i was scared so the first few tries i actually did like um run over a pylon it wasn't in in the line of the turn and everything and I, it's just like i had to get out my mind i'm like megan it's like a bicycle you know how to maneuver a bicycle it's the same thing stop intimidating yourself and once i got on my mind i was just there doing it you know doing it smoothly <laughs> yeah so um that became intimidating for me because i i was saying i'm gonna fall but once i was like stop it it was also um quite a simple exercise for me so yeah my partner and i we took turns it was another female rider who who also didn't um, know how to ride as me so it was nice <laughs> pairing up with her i think her name was melissa but yeah anyways but yeah i enjoyed um the first three exercises because they were they were easy they were simple there was something that i kind of already knew how to do and then the next exercise they had us do was start up 
the bikes. <laughs> so they actually taught us um, how to start it. Different bikes have different things. Some have a choke, some don't, and some this and that or whatever. So they just went through all the potentials of how your bike might need to start, but also to check your owner's um, manual just to make sure. So we all started up our bikes and everything and uh just to feel the vibration of the bike it was and just the you, you, we hit the throttle a little bit you know because um, mine was was too cold the choke i guess it was too cold or whatever so they're like add a little throttle to get it starting so you hear the mm, i'm like oh <laughs> oh man i'm such a loser i was like oh, okay <laughs> okay so that was actually very very exciting for me and just um learning, you know, like about the gas on, gas off, gas reserve, and all these different things. It's completely different from a car. But um, yeah, so we, we did that. So after we started up the bikes, they had um, a brief lesson on um, just using our clutch to actually move the bike. And um, they called it the friction zone. So like feeling when the bike is ready to like move off and then when it's slipping you push in the clutch again and all this stuff and maybe if, if you're comfortable put in a little throttle to give it a little power and stuff so the first ex the second exercise when we did with our partner pushing we actually just did it on the bikes our, ourselves again we lined up and we were side by side with one another and we just went in a straight line using the clutch and a little bit of throttle if you're if you if you needed to to um, move your bike, stop for the tube brake, and check your uh, your blind spot. Can I tell you, I was nervous. I was so nervous. I didn't even move off. <laughs> I didn't even move off. I stood there and everyone was, not everyone, but like people were like going and they were doing their thing. And I was there like, oh Lord, please don't let me fall like that was just in my don't let me fall <laughs> seriously because they talked about if you take out the clutch too fast and you put too much throttle you could actually do a wheelie and i was like i feel like it's gonna be me but <laughs> so I, I was, I was kind of stalled there but the instructor actually came and spoke to me one-on-one -on -one and you know just gave me a little one-on-one -on -one lesson to build up my confidence and everything so if you're planning to do your thing at sheridan the instructor is awesome anyways so yeah, we did that for a few minutes, got comfortable with it. Um, after I started getting into the motions of it, I was like, okay, I could get this. I could actually get this. Yeah, it's, they were also, it was just mainly a practice of um, getting the clutch and the throttle balanced because you don't want to stall and all that stuff. So that was the main point of that exercise because we already got the balance and everything. It was just getting the clutch and the throttle together and practicing our smooth um braking so after that um exercise they talked about changing our gear so they talked about um being in obviously first gear second gear and neutral we didn't go past second gear those are the three years that they talked about so the task was the same riding in a line but actually changing our gears in it. So we didn't do the ride for a little bit, stop, check our blind spot, go off, ride for a little bit, stop, check our blind spot, stop, and then turn around and everything. We actually just in a one line rode, get up to speed to second gear, change it, ride again, and then start to um, slow down, gear down and stop. So that was the whole, the whole line. Um, truth be told, I did beat up myself for this because um, when I was learning standard kind of ish with my dad, I did have a trouble. I did have trouble changing gears with the car. So when it came time for this now, I was like, okay, I kind of have a background with it and the bike is different from the car, but kind of the same. Maybe I could pick it up on the bike, like how I couldn't really pick it up on the car. But I, I, I struggled picking it up on the bike for the first few times and I did beat myself up like I'm like oh my goodness I didn't gear up fast enough or I didn't gear down fast enough and stuff and I would like I wouldn't like curse at myself out loud but my demeanor was just like oh like I'm not getting this and beating myself up and the instructor came to me he's like 
why are you doing this to yourself? Isn't it your first day on the bike? Don't do that. And it's just like, that's true. Like, come on, Megan. Like, I know I was putting this expectation on myself because I kind of know from the car, but the bike is completely different. So stop it. And you're, you're learning it. Stop. So yeah, that was something else. But yeah, we changed the gears and we turned around. We didn't stop and come off. We turned around on the bike. They wanted us to do the turn um, using the that friction. So they wanted us to be in gear one using the friction zone and everything. So yeah. But after that, um, after that exercise, I can say I did not really feel confident. I felt like... I felt like I wanted a little bit more time with that exercise. When I felt like I was kind of getting it, it was like time to move on to the next the next exercise, which was us just riding around the um, the parking lot. So, like I said before, there was like two groups of fifteen. So they split. It's a big parking lot. They split the parking lot in half. So we just went around in circles um, on that on our side, and they went around in circles on their side. So they had us like just ride around and they said that, you know, when we got to the longer stretch, if you want to practice your gearing up and gearing down and your braking, it was really pr for us to practice our turns while the bike is actually like um, in gear and also for us to practice gearing up, gearing down, balancing. It was basically all the exercises that we have learned thus far in like full motion, but with people actually following us and like, we didn't we weren't allowed to pass so it gave us like a okay there's a rider in front of me so i have to watch when they're hitting their brakes now i'm not following too close and stuff they had us also practice some um, signaling so when we were doing the turn it was signal oh we're, we're making left we're making right or whatever that um that one i enjoyed that that was something that i actually did need to do that exercise brought up my confidence up here because from that, the last exercise of gear changing and I felt like I needed a little bit more time, they allowed us to do the turns and do the straight and just be in motion with everyone. I really enjoyed myself for that exercise. I was, I was really happy. I was like, your girl got this. <laughs> I was really happy about that, ex that exercise. It brought my confidence level very, very high. So after just the simple, um, just going around in circles and they also had us um, change directions a few times after we did that a few times they started adding things into the course but it, it just went into one one direction so they added like um, us just going through the pylons making a right turn I'm trying to remember off the top of my head and then we went through the pylons again we made a right turn and then we had to practice um, stopping and then going, stopping and then going. But when you stop, they wanted you to check your blind spots. We stopped and goed again a few times. And then we made a right turn. Then we made a left turn. Then we made a right turn. <laughs> then we made a left turn. Like they had us do some turns. And then after we went through, we went through the pylons again. And we made the left turn, right turn, right turn. And then the course started again. So we did that for a while. So they had that course on the outer part of the, our half of the parking lot. And then in the center, they built like um, figure eights. So it was just basically a free for all at that point. We didn't have to follow um, one course or if we wanted to do the roundabout of the going through the pylons, making the turn, stopping, or we could come into the middle of the parking lot and practice our figure eights, practice moving in a tight spot. Like they had like a, a garage space, moving your bike into the garage, parking it and all that stuff. So it was, it was a, a free, for all, free for all and it was nice and just going into like a tighter circle. So they just, I feel, I felt like that exercise was just to help you um, maneuver your bike, balance your bike more in especially tighter, um, tighter areas you could say like for the figure eight you know that's very very tight so um that was that that was actually really fun um uh, from the last course my confidence was up the roof so i very much enjoyed doing that course as well i was i was yeah i was getting very comfortable 
very very comfortable i wasn't nervous i wasn't thinking oh i'm gonna fall or whatever like the beginning so they get you into a state where you feel comfortable and you're just you're just writing you're just writing now um so after that exercise they had us move our bikes to the side so they could take that away and they had us swerving so they wanted us to maintain speed so what they did they made like a, a u-turn on one side of the parking lot and then we had to get up to speed to um, the second gear and then once we got up to that speed of the second gear we would have to like like swerve like you would legit have to like turn the bike or you would fall you like you wouldn't make it so it got it got a little more advanced on us with speed but that was actually really fun and around that that time it started raining so it was drizzling a little bit but it was just like you know rain brings intimidation to people but i like the rain so they're like don't worry you'll still be able to stop and everything don't get afraid and whatnot and everything you know just being encouraging and letting us know not to not to freak out over the rain and um, i enjoy that course because as it started raining you could feel like the the rain on you it started to cool you down and you, I was just building up so much confidence being on the bike. I was there doing the U-turns and slowing down and swerving in it. I felt really nice. I can't, <laughs> I cannot lie. I felt really, really good. Um, the program so far for me, day one was just perfect. I was just feeling myself. I was happy. So um, after that, we learned how to do emergency braking. Um, it was just more of basically of us getting to second gear again. So we had a time frame to, to ride, to get up to second gear, get to second gear, ride at that speed. And then there was pylons where they expected us to stop. Um, how can I feel about that? I was nervous about that because now at this point it was raining a lot like it was raining I, the jacket I have says it's waterproof it was not waterproof I was so it was raining a lot my gear I was getting wet my pants were soaked down to my underwear <laughs> seriously um yeah the the waterproof jacket was starting to like seep the water through and I could feel it like coming in and I was like oh my gosh they talk they did talk about the importance of importance of rain gear but i didn't have i was like my jacket waterproof my boots waterproof i'm good just get waterproof gear okay i'm just gonna leave it right there so anyways yeah so that was the course um get up to get up to second gear ride in that um, speed in second gear and then do the emergency stop then once we got used to that um confidence was still up here Honestly, I was just feeling myself confident and people like even the instructors were like, oh my goodness, a different rider from this morning. You're doing awesome. And I'm like, <laughs> I was feeling really good. But then they added another um, obstacle where um, we had, it's the same get up to speed to second gear, maintain second gear. And then there was a set of pylons where you either had to swerve to the left, swerve to the right, or do an emergency stop. And our, we had an instructor there. He stood there and he would give you the signal. So we wouldn't know what was coming. So we were just riding and we would have to figure out like, we would have to wait and anticipate. <laughs> well, actually they told you not to anticipate because it's just like, don't say like, okay, I think he's gonna give me, I think he's gonna, yeah. Don't anticipate, like just, just ride and just wait and figure out and see what he's gonna give you. Yeah, just see what he's gonna give you. So at this time, I was just, I was whipping through them obstacle courses. I was doing the swerves, you know, he gave me the, doing the swerves, doing the emergency stuff. And then we would go around and then that course was just emergency stops. Then we would go back around and we would have to wait for him to signal us what to do. Um, so there was one incident <laughs> where I was riding and I got up to second gear and I I did anticipate, to tell you the truth. Um, but I wasn't like, I, I wasn't like, okay, he's gonna give me this. And I was just, I was more like, what's he gonna give me? What's he gonna give me? What's he gonna give me? 
and he gave me a, a stop and I squeezed the right brake a little too hard than the rear brake because they tell you to squeeze it equally and my tire like slid and I fell. <laughs> The whole of my leather pants was scratch off. I will actually insert a photo so you guys can see what it looks like. So the whole of it scratched off and truth be told, I was going to wear a body camera on myself here. If I did, my camera would have been ruined. So I was actually very happy that I didn't do that because I didn't want it on my helmet because I knew I was going to be like moving the visor and everything all over the place. So I would have put it on my body, but the way I landed I landed here yeah, let me take one of these girls here so I like landed like this kind of so my camera would have been here it would have been mashed or something the bike was like on top of me like this like my foot was like my foot was bent up somewhere I don't even know where it was bent up because I was just on the ground like this and the instructor was like are you okay are you yeah he comes running to me and he's just like are you okay are you okay he picks up the bike and I'm like yeah I could feel that my right calf and whatever part that on the bike that jabbed me was mash I was like gonna be bruised up so he walks me over we fill out um some paperwork and stuff and he's like are you okay do you still want to ride i'm like yeah, yeah get me back on the bike i'm good i'm good i'm like i'm loving this and he's like okay okay but by the time they took a bike out of like they had it stored like in a little trailer they took a bike out the exercise was finished and that was actually the last exercise so that was day one your girl went from like scared of falling to full confidence and actually falling and was like get me back on the bike <laughs> so um i did have a good time i did build up my confidence um day one was a quite a success for me i did enjoy myself um you know what i'm gonna do part two for day two yeah but day two is a uh, next next story that um <laughs> that's completely opposite to day one so stay tuned for next um day two hit the like button if you like this video so far i like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye